Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, it's time to do some announcements for the groups we have. Today I am yeah, I have a meeting set up with Princess Cruise Lines to go over a little bit of our Canada cruise on September 19th of this year and our Cabo cruise on the Discovery Princess coming up in a few short weeks on April 1st. So I'll have more details on those two groups a little bit later. We have to organize when we're having the get-togethers on board, the parties, are they going to be able to do any shore excursions for us, etc, etc, etc. So more on those two cruises a little bit later. However, some people were also asking me where I'm staying for my cruise in um, Long Beach. So uh, for the Discovery Princess, I am going to be staying at the Crown Plaza because I'm hoping to get over to the USS Iowa and do the museum tour there on the ship. I, I missed it last time I was there, it was closed. So I'm hoping to be able to do that on this trip, fingers crossed. And as far as where I'm staying in New York yet, I don't know because I've always sailed away from New York. I've never sailed into New York. Okay, this is editing gone. What I meant to say, of course, was I've always arrived in New York I've never left from New York. So it's gonna be a first time experience for me as well. Now apparently our ship is leaving from the Brooklyn terminal. So I will be starting to look at some hotels there, uh, but one of the easiest ways to do it, if you're just coming in for the cruise and not spending a few days in New York City, well then the best thing to do would be book, to book a hotel right at the airport or as close to the airport as you can, and then book the shuttle from the cruise line in the morning from the airport to the cruise port. That way you know where you're going, you just head back to the, to the airport, go to the arrival section, there'll be a princess representative there and you'll hop on a bus and away you go. That would be a very simple way to do that if you're wondering, if you're not spending a lot of time in New York and you're worried about the traveling and things like that. Okay. Now the other announcement that I have is I had to start getting ready for 2024. That's right, we're literally just into 2023 and uh, 2024 is coming up. Now, I, I always try and do a different itinerary for my groups. If you noticed, I've done the Caribbean, we're doing Canada, we've done a uh, Alaska and we did Panama Canal and we're doing Cabo. So like all different locations, so everyone gets a chance to join in a different area and different experience. However, last time, uh, our Alaska cruise in 2022, I was stuck in Amsterdam with COVID and ended up missing the cruise. Now, my niece Angelina was there, uh, a bunch of our friends were on board and they helped out as much as they could, but I was disappointed I didn't get to experience Alaska with everybody else. So, I'm gonna make up for that and I'm going back to Alaska in 2024. One of the things people ask me to do, they, you know, they love the northbound, southbound cruise out of Vancouver, they love Vancouver, but the flying, if you were only doing the seven day flying out of Whittier and everything, became a bit of a hassle, became expensive. Some people had to do three, four transfers to get home. 24 hours of flying to get home after your cruise. That's kind of not the way you want to do it. That's not the way you want to kind of relax. That's why I do back to back. So I flew home directly from Vancouver. At least I would have. My niece did, <laughs> but I didn't. So this time around to make things just a little bit easier for people, we're going to be sailing out of Seattle and it's a seven day round trip which means we're gonna start in Seattle and we're gonna finish in Seattle. So anybody doesn't have to worry about flying from two different airports, etc. And so if you wanted to do back to back, you can just book the ship twice anyway. You'd just be sailing from, you know, from Seattle instead of back from Whittier. We are back on the Majestic Princess because they, Princess changed a lot of their 
switching around of their ships for 2024. And some of the ships now are smaller ships and uh, they've changed the itineraries completely different. And so this time around, I thought we would visit Dawes Glacier. We're going to be visiting the three main ports, of course, Skagway, Juneau, Ketchikan, and we're going to stop in Victoria, Canada for an evening in the sunset in beautiful Victoria, Canada. If you've never been to the parks and everything and the food in that area, absolutely delicious. And then a nice short cruise back to Seattle in the morning. The cruise is going to be a lot of fun. The Majestic Princess, people love the ship. I love the ship. The, the people on board were amazing. The ship is beautiful. It has that noodle bar up on the main deck. Uh, it has Princess Live, good theater shows, and good main dining that isn't too, too expensive to book uh, the steakhouse on board and things like that. So yeah, the Majestic Princess is one of my favorite Royal class ships. Sailing out of Seattle seven days and uh, returning back to Seattle to make flying easier for everybody. And uh, yeah, returning back to Alaska in 2024. I wanted a ship that I had still cabins on it. So I have 150 cabins currently booked and can get more. So I've reserved all those so far. I will be doing the $100 reduced deposit as well. Wait, Don, you haven't told them when. You haven't told them when. May 19th. May 19th, 2024. Not this year, 2024. So uh, let me give you a rough ballpark figure. So I've done this with the Premier, Princess Premier, which comes with, you know, and everything includes insurance in this rough estimate I'm giving you. Remember, this is a rough estimate as of today, the 13th of February, 2023. If you see this video a week from now, two weeks from now, 10, a year from now, the prices of ob will obviously have changed and can go up and down, but this will be the highest you will pay for these categories approximately as of today. Okay, so that's good. If you're looking for an interior cabin with no perks at all, just the cabin and the insurance, including taxes and port fees, you'll be paying around $2,650 US. Okay, if you're looking for the perks, which would be the drinks package, gratuities included, one device, unlimited, Wi-Fi per passenger. So if you're two people, that's two devices. Comes with the drink, the uh, two desserts and the two free gym classes as well. Plus free shipping of your medallion to you, which if you're not in that package, you have to pay for it now if you want to have it shipped to you. So that would be about $3,550 US for two people. These are all based on a couple, two people, including taxes and port fees and insurance. That's for an interior cabin. If you wanted a balcony cabin with no perks, approximately 4,300 US, and with all those other perks, approximately 5,200 US for a balcony, including all the perks, taxes, port fees, and insurance. Okay, now, if you've booked with me before on these groups, you, really, you will understand that. That's our starting price. The price will never go higher once you book. It can only go lower. And as a perfect example, everybody on my Canada cruise coming up in September was just repaired anywhere from $400 to $1,200, depending on the type of cabin you had. We just repaired everybody. Same thing earlier for my Cabo cruise, people were, re were repaired when a better deal came up. The good thing about this sale is it's reduced deposits. They're fully refundable up until three months before your cruise. And it's down to $100 per person or less, depending on the sale I can get you in. But it will not, right now, it will not be more than $100 per person. So $200 US to put a deposit down, fully refundable on May 19th, Majestic Princess out of Seattle, group cruise. Like I said, I have about 150 cabins booked right now. The suite category is wide open as of right now, and I have a very limited amount of handicap. Very limited amount. They don't put a lot, unfortunately, on these ships. So if you're interested at all and would like to reserve a cabin, here's what I need. Because I'm going to have 800 emails tomorrow. 
And some people are just, well, what would the cost be for this? Well, I just, I literally just told you the approximate cost for what they're gonna be. If you wanna look up the cruise yourself, you can. Remember, Majestic Princess, Seven Day Alaska, May 19th, 2024. But if you would like to make me, have me reserve you a cabin, and I can send you, you know, once I have the information, I can send you the confirmations, you can say yes or no, and at that point, we put the deposit down. Not until you give me the okay. So any information you give me ahead of time is only to give, make a booking reservation so you know the exact cost and the locations of your cabin, things like that. But that's what I need. I need, number one, your full names that would be on any documentation you would use for the cruise. So in this case, say your passport. Whatever your passport say, if it's, uh, you know, your middle name is in there or just an initial, I would need to know that as well. Not your passport number, just the full name that would be on your passport. Second, I need your mailing address. All crews, we have to do a mailing address in order to make a booking or payments in the future. I need a phone number I can reach you at. And uh, if you're emailing me, I'll have your email address, so that's no problem. I also need to know what type of cabin you're interested in and if you want the perks, yes or no, and if you want me to keep the insurance. You can cancel the insurance all the way up to final payment. So if you find cheaper insurance, you can get that done, but you have to do it before final payment. Remember the deposit is already refundable. So you've already saved your money. You, you, you don't have to worry about that for your insurance. So that's why we don't pay the insurance up front unless we need to, uh, getting closer to final payments. So if you send me your names, your date of birth, sorry, date of birth as well. So I can make, you know, if you're over 55, you might get a discount. And uh, if you're younger than 18, I need to know that as well. A mailing address, your phone number, and the type of cabin you're interested in. And if you have a preference of a deck or where you wanna go, check the Majestic Princess flight plan, uh, sorry, um, deck plans and say, you know, I, you know what, I wanna be, I kinda like staying near the, the, the aft of the ship, or I like forward cabins, or I like to be on a high deck, or I like to be on a low deck. Let me know your preference and I will do my best to get you there. So there's all kinds of, remember, on this particular type of ship, there's no ocean view. So you have interior, balcony, mini suites, and then suites. So those would be your four categories. I have 150 cabins, they will go quick. And the people who give me all the information I need right away are gonna have first choice and get booked first. And right now, uh, there's some good perks to book early, um, but that can change by tomorrow. So I, I just want to bring that out right now that um, this sailing looks uh, really fun. A fair amount of time in ports for a return trip and a much easier flying home than flying out of Whittier and Anchorage, Alaska. A little disappointing. Some people won't be able to do the, you know, the tours up there, the, the, the lodges. But I think the convenience of being able to fly into one city in the United States for you know the vast majority of people who come will be from the United States. So it'll just make flying home so much easier and easier to get in there. So I'm hoping that you would like to join me. And if you did, send me that, you know, the email is down below uh, to send this in for uh, those of you who know, I have people contacting me right now saying, hey, I know you're going to Alaska. When are you going? So there you go. The faster I get that information, I can make your booking, send you confirmations. You can say yes or no. We put the deposit down and you're booked. And from then on, you don't have to worry about it. We will monitor it for any prices going down. A lot of you on my Canada cruise don't even realize yet. I've already saved you like a thousand dollars. So uh, yeah. We'll, uh, I think this is gonna be a lot of fun. We'll uh, arrange like a party on board and I'm making some big changes for 2024 with the way things are gonna be run a little bit for the groups. Uh, but yes, I'm still gonna be there and we're still gonna have a lot of fun. Um, but uh, I hope I hope you'll join us. It, 
I, I love Alaska and I was so disappointed. I didn't get to go to Alaska with everybody last year. I was stuck in a hotel room while everybody else was on one of my favorite cruises ever, Alaska. So yeah, time to make that up. Uh, I hope you'll join us and until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation. Maybe, maybe on the Majestic to Alaska, May 19th, 2024.